65 amp or 65 amps it says um, this is a boutique amp um, and I've been given this to just to check over so this is this is the Tuplo model um, and I think it's about 20 watts um, looks a really well designed amplifier looks really cool um, nice covering nice metal badge there for the logo it's quite a sweet looking amp so let's um, let's just delve into it further and we'll have a look at the um, have a look at the controls and then we'll have a look at the back so just having a look at the, at the top now on the on the panel top panel so we've got a volume tone a smooth switch I'm not quite sure what that does and a bump on and bump off it's interesting got that there we've got intensity and speed because we've got tremolo on this amp and then we've got a master volume so pretty uh, pretty basic thing really standby switch I won't mention that um, pilot light usual thing on off switch single input on it as well which is good so yeah very basic amp um, so yeah not much to see on there but that's good I, I like basic amps I don't like to see amps with loads and loads of controls on them so this is look this is a class bit of kit nice handle on there nice solid leather handle so let's just have a look at the back so you can see we've got a nice celestial speaker in there that's a, a g12h 30 watts Presume that's the original speaker that was in it this this cabinet's made of, of birch ply so it's sort of good quality so we'll just pull back with the zoom yeah you can see see the back so we're going to take this back panel off now i think when that back panel comes off the whole amplifier section will come out and uh, looking at these screws someone's been in here before so let's uh, I'm just going to remove that and then we'll have a look we'll have a look at the gubbins right we've got got out the uh, case and uh, this looks a, a tidy bit of kit so we've got six v6 s's there we just hone in you see those and we've got uh, 12 EC 83s, 12 X 7s, the preamp, three of those. So, so look, we've got on the back panel, got foot switch, effect send and return, 8 ohm and 16 ohm switch, that's a good idea. Fuse odors, just usual things, really. Let's have a look at the top. Just look at these Mercury magnetic transformers, so they're really nice. Got those, there's the power transformer. There's the output transformer. We look here, if we look at this blank that we've got here, uh, it probably indicates that uh, some of these models had a rectifier tube on at one time. Looking at that, and I would say that's probably uh, an EZ81 or something there, because that's that looks like a, it's certainly not an octal base size. So yeah, good. It looks good. So what we need to be looking at now is the chassis. So I'm going to turn it upside down, take the board off the bottom. I'm going to just lift these tubes out first so they don't get damaged. And then we'll have a look at uh, what's inside. Take a look at that. No expense spurred in this amplifier. Look at the Sozos that we've got there. Very nice. You can see there, this is a well-made amplifier. Move that back. We've got some uh, very nice dropping resistors there. Yeah, all very overspect for tw for a twenty watt amp. Well, it's supposed to be twenty watt. This. Yeah, that's pretty good. Very nice. You see some some stuff down here not sure what that's all about well, that's something on the power supply again without tracing that out a little like a breadboard type thing there doing something I don't know what that is is that the effect send and return 
Yep, it is. Looks like it. Yep. Screened wire. Look, going on here to the. Uh, sorry, just move that up so you can see it. Pin that's going to pin two on that valve. So that's that's a grid screen two uh, screen cable on the grids. You can see there, there, down at the bottom, and here. So yeah, this is tidy. Very nice amp indeed. Just look. Sorry, I'm just looking at the. Uh, yep, E to Y. There they are. Yeah. So I was just looking for the filament wires in there. Yep, they're all in the corner. Ah, what's that? The that for the channel switching maybe. I don't know. And what that is. And we've also got another item here that looks like a relay there. Where that is, that looks like a relay of some description. We'd have to check that out again to see what it is. So yes, a very, very nice looking amp. Very nice. So the other thing is now, what does this amp sound like? Well, with all these transform Mercury transformers and Sozo caps, which are supposed to be brilliant, you'd expect this amp to sound brilliant. So, I think we're going to plug this in and have a listen. Right, we've got this plug. We've got this plugged into the four by twelve cab, and we're going to have a, a bit of a listen. when I bought it. You just got a little bit of crunch going on there. I'm just going to drop that down to about two. Let's see how clean we can get this amp. Oh, my word. That must be a cathode bypass capacitor or some of this cutting in there. We can buy the thump on there as well. That's the capacitor charging. Amp this even you know you can feel it wanting to go um, ah. so I wonder if that's another cathode bypass capacitor switch this is definitely a rock amp So I've got that on single coil now on the neck pickup. You've got a lovely bass response as well, and that'll be obviously the, these transformers are certainly helping that. Tremolo. Um, I think that's yeah, it's on the switch there. So that's just on a this, that's just a switched uh, potentiometer. Oh yeah, that's a bit. Uh, Thank you. 
like a latency issue on that. I can feel myself picking the string before the note comes out. Really weird. A bit all or nothing as well, that. It's not the fastest tremolo in the world. It's incredibly slow. So that, really, that could be better. You'd want that to be a little bit quicker on the slow setting and not much shimmer going on that, is there? Um, well, I'm not a great lover of tremolo anyway, so. Uh, but yeah, so that's, uh, the amp sounds great. I'm not sure about that tremolo. Let's now then let's see how much gain this amp's got. I'm sure everybody's wanting to know what we can get out of it game wise. So what's going on there? So the master volume doesn't cut out on there, so let's turn that back down. So that's strange. It's like the master volume's not going completely to ground. Hmm, I don't know if that's how that's supposed to be or not. Which isn't very good really because you now can't regulate when you turn up the volume. <laughs> So yeah, you don't have to go too mad with that mass with that gain volume on the uh, channel there. Get that up too much uh, because this amp's quite bassy. this bump switch I think that's just a cathode bypass capacitor switch by the sound of it could be wrong but smooth switch so that's 
for the master volume on on zero. So that's that master volume is a, a little bit strange there. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. I don't know whether that's a fault on there or whether that's how it should be. But of course, it doesn't mean it means it's difficult to to regulate this amp. You want to turn this right down quiet and have plenty of gain on it you can't really do it once you start getting sort of oh yeah that's nice yeah so i think that's with yeah so that smooth switch there when you get more gain on it. yeah that's uh, more like a treble boost switch um this bump switch yeah that's that's nice but again you can't regulate the volume on this amp so is there a fault with that master volume um or is that how it's supposed to be I have to look into that master doesn't doesn't work from zero to two just begins to work at two look so zero one one and all just just so not very responsive that master volume faulty that master volume I think there's something wrong with that because that's sometimes that wants to work yeah when you put when you wing it back quick it just goes off for a second and comes back on again yeah so I think there's something wrong with that that's faulty also when you turn it up it's not exactly breaking the bank with volume so now we've got a, a cleaner tone neck position I've got that's in humbucker mode
Listen to that amp, and that I have to say that sounds most splendiferous. The transformers are lovely and cool. This amp's been on a fair bit now, um, been on about 20 minutes, and it's really cool. So, yeah, um, that's the uh, 65 amps Tupelo 20 watt model. We've had a listen, had a look inside, it looks a really well made amplifier. Uh, it sounds great. My plane's a bit rusty though, so you let's excuse that. Um, cold hands all day. It's uh, about minus one in the UK here, so it's freezing. So another issue I've just noticed with this amp. This amp uh, has been on a good 25, 30 minutes now. Look at that. I can actually, I can, I've got both hands on those. I've got one hand on both of those tubes. And they are cool, and even there, they're very cool. So there's something you'd expect them to be running a lot hotter than that. So I think either it's been set up like that, or there's some sort of bias issue, because that's been on like 30 minutes. I've also got uh, a video that I'm putting together, which is going to deal with uh, one or two of my boo-boos and uh, also some of the comments that, that people have left some of the advice that they've left as well and we're also appreciative of uh, good advice uh, so thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you all in another video so you all take care so bye bye for now